The president of the Philippines says his country is on the front line of a battle for regional peace, and he's vowing to defend his homeland against foreign powers. Ferdinand Marcos Jr. addressed Australia's parliament today as he looks for support in Manila's ongoing maritime disputes with Beijing. He also repeated his call for freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. CNA's Buena Bernal with this report. In his speech before Australia's House of Representatives, Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. underscored the two countries' people-to-people -people ties, strategic partnership, and mutual concerns over maritime stability and freedom of navigation. Mr. Marcos Jr. reiterated that he will not give up a single inch of Philippine territory, referring to the West Philippine Sea, which is how the Philippines calls its 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone in the larger South China Sea. Then as now, we remain firm in defending our sovereignty, our sovereign rights, our jurisdiction. I shall never tire of repeating the declaration that I made from the first day that I took office. I will not allow any attempt by any foreign power to take even one square inch of our sovereign territory. The challenges that we face may be formidable, but equally formidable is our resolve. We will not yield. Mr. Marcus Jr.'s renewed commitment comes amid rising tensions between Philippine and Chinese vessels in the area, including, as the Philippines alleges, Chinese blockade of regular rotation and resupply missions by the Philippines to its troops and fishermen in the area. The Philippines has continually publicly disclosed these incidents in the past year, including incidents that China Coast Guard has used a water cannon and military-grade laser against Filipino crew in a policy that Western observers have tagged as the Philippines' quote, aggressive transparency. Just as we fought to build our rules-based international order, so are we now fighting to protect it. The protection of the South China Sea as a vital, a critical global artery is crucial to the preservation of regional peace and, I dare say, of global peace. We have an abiding interest in keeping our seas free and open and in ensuring unimpeded passage and freedom of navigation. Australia has backed a 2016 arbitral tribunal ruling that largely favors the Philippines and invalidated China's expansive claim in the disputed waters.